Good morning. This is day six, JT Norton. Double check, make sure I'm recording this time. It is the, what the hell's the date? Yeah, I lost track of the date. That's the date. Uh, the September 30th. I'll be here one more day, so I figured let's make it a JT day and do a walk. So I'm bringing you along for a little bit. This is a Bright Angel Trail, Grand Canyon National Park. Again, this is October 30th, 2019. I am your host, JT Norton, as usual. So that's a pretty common trail. Um, guy yesterday said that it uh, took him and his crew about four hours. Um, apparently, he said that's some kind of speed record, but hikers are like fishermen. They have a tendency to exaggerate. Sometimes even uh, outdoor photographers. But... <clears throat> I don't, or at least try not to. So, and, uh, but I'm gonna roam down here. Four hours is not gonna be enough time for me because I have to pace myself. And uh, I have plenty of water. I'm wrapped up good. When I left my camp this morning, it was 16 degrees. And uh, there's some wind today, but hopefully these mountains should block most of it because I was looking at it last night and they're all still coming from the same direction as yesterday. High today is supposed to be around 50 52 which once the sun comes out it really feels a lot better so uh it was cold enough that i use a monopod that i've converted into a walking stick but it's metal that's the only downside and uh it's cold if you're not wearing your gloves but i got my good boots on today got some food got plenty of water so hiking down there in that valley where i'm going won't be a big deal so and uh, that would be a lot of fun. So, unless I get, oh, never mind. Oh, sorry, I was distracted by something. It's like, I better not walk all the way down here and that's the end of the trail. <laughs> all right, anyways, I'm gonna shut up and uh, let you enjoy the view. <clears throat> Other than my breathing, sorry, I can't do anything about that. <clears throat> We're gonna turn a corner, so you'll have a valley shot in a minute. I know I said I was gonna talk, but anybody that knows me knows I can't shut up. <laughs> That's appropriate, 911 box. <laughs> this thing's got stabilization in it, so I'm gonna try to let it bounce a little bit, maybe get a little motion. That's my sunrise bouncing off the mountains. And yes, it's today, it's my sunrise. <laughs> then again, anybody that comes out here to see this, it's yours. Grand Canyon National Park has no opening hours. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They do close off certain areas like the North Rim and this area will be supposedly closed off if the weather like snow and crap like that um, there's the bathroom I don't need to go to the bathroom so they thought of everything for you I'll spin the camera in a minute because we're going to be doing a right turn and that should give you a good open view of the valley for a little bit longer let me check my Recording time. I'm bound and determined to lose glasses today. Ah. 
trying to keep it steady, but I'm watching my step a little bit more than I'm watching your scenery at the moment. All right. I'm going to walk you to this little corner here, and then we'll do another one once we get further down. I want to conserve my battery power on my GoPro because these things aren't the best in the world when it comes to battery life. But it's cold out here, so it should hold up for me for today. Not doing anything crazy with it. Oh, wait a minute. Let's give you a walk down here. I got these little spots carved out here so you can stop and enjoy the view. That's what I'm going to do for you before I cut the video. Yeah, I'm going to be tired for this day's over with. I can see that coming already. Coming back up is going to be a bear. When you're hiking, please take a lot of water. Take yourself something to eat. Have some good boots. Not tennis shoes, boots. And, uh, uh, of course, be careful. Peace. I'll be back. There's a view for you. spot to hang out and relax for a bit before I head back up. I found my spot. I was about a 40 minutes ahead of schedule. Yes, I timed myself. Well, one thing to say, if you ever fell off that, you wouldn't feel the final point. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna chill out right up here. Give my feet a rest for a little while. Get the rest of my camera stuff set up. Get some pictures. Think that's a good spot to chill out? I think so too. Hey mom, this is for you, I love you. So, let me get set here and I'm gonna turn you around, we're in the Grand Canyon National Park, and I have walked 6, 20, 7, 20, 8, 20, 9, 20, 10, 20. So I've walked about four hours to get to this location, so. One massive gout on my foot too. That's okay, it's worth it. Love you, Mom. This is for you. I know you always wanted to come see this place.
man, that box is swinging all over the place. Amazes me the skill that guys have. Sorry. I'm to pull it out. Cool stuff. Love you, Mama. This is JT. I'm out, but I'm not done. That's JT. Still doing okay. Still heading back up. Got a ways to go. It's going a little slower because I'm stopping more to take more pictures. So, uh, Gonna be a little bit longer than I expected getting back. So I thought when you got scenery like this, it's hard to it's hard to not do it. Ooh, let me give you a cool silhouette. Alright. It's all good. That's where it came from. That path there. It's way down yonder. You can't see from here. And that's where I'm going. So not up there. Going up this way. I'm just in this water bed because I was taking pictures of that tree right there. All right, Grand Canyon National Park kicks ass. <laughs>